Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more of the multi-consumer products playthrough of Stars using the Megacorp DLC. Alright, let's continue here. Alright, this uh, system is being colonized, which is good. What are we doing on alloys? Unfortunately, we're a bit down because we're upgrading our fleet. Doesn't look like we're going to be expanding this fleet too much more. Not really sure what all I'm going to be able to conquer with them. <laughs> we'll give it a go, though. You know, I kind of feel like we should be upgrading this fleet. I mean, it's, it's like, really getting old now. I mean, you look at how much it would cost to upgrade even just eight ships. But... Upscaling complete. Mostly we're just waiting for resources and to get some of this work done. And then we'll look for Operation Stab Enemy in Back. Okay, that doesn't necessarily concern me 100%. It, it's slightly concerning. Okay. So we were working towards Discovery. Uh, we've already done all this, so we might as well do this. Surveying speed increased. Yeah, might as well. Then we just have this one. Research station out uh, output increased, which is definitely going to be beneficial. And then we have harmony and domination left between the, the two. And obviously we're going to have a uh, new ascension, uh, ascension perk, which I look forward to. And this guy's still sitting around. Research actualized. Although I believe it was at Regulus before. Okay, uh, we have even better weapons now. Okay, we've got cruiser hull points, probably worth going for if we're going to get into a war, although the Durasteel armor is probably a pretty good one as well. I, I kind of feel like we should go with the Durasteel armor because that's the one thing we're kind of a little bit behind on. Yeah, I, I say we do that. And then we look for... One more upgrade, maybe. Uh, although I might not be able to afford it anyway, so... As we do not have a lot of alloys here. Okay. We also have advanced combat rolls, which is another reason we probably want to do stuff. So, particle lance, excised weapon which I don't think I can use. We've got Hyper Shields, which is going to be next level shields. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, yeah, none of this actually jumps out at me. These are all fairly expensive technologies. Yeah, I'm not sure I could use this. That's why I'm not sure I should do it or not. I mean... I guess we could just go with uh, physics research. Wouldn't hurt. Okay, let's continue. Research actualized. Okay, another research done. All right, let's see what we've got. Cool defense grid. Uh, more habitability. Climate restor restoration, more terraforming type stuff. Society research, naval capacity. Regenerative hull tissue could be good. I'm leaning more towards the habitability. To be totally honest with you, I think that's always a nice thing to have. Let's just go with that. Okay, we have enough that we can take advantage of this. So, what do we want? Oh. So, this gives us... Naval capacity. Some food. This branch office isn't worth much, so I think commercial form doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Amenities. Oh, 
Why couldn't we do this one? Ah, okay, it has to have a lot of population. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of like the research one, because I feel like that's the one thing that we... That's our one edge. And I feel like we continue to benefit from it. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh, time. I'm going to abstain because I, I feel like we need our influence, so... See, you got it. Okay. Not really necessarily the person we want one just before we're about to go to war. How's our fleets doing? 15.8k. Okay. I'm going to look at the technology screen. Kind of decide on how long it would take me to research certain things and whether it's worth it to upgrade. I mean, at this point, we've got a decent amount of alloys, so I could probably pull it off. So let's go to the ship designer. Uh, we just upgraded the, to this level. And then we have the better computers. So that should already be factored in, I would imagine. Oh, actually, no. We'd want this. Okay, good. Uh, I think otherwise we're pretty much up to date. Okay, so... Oh, while they're upgrading, we can't do the change. All right, well, we know what we can upgrade. I was trying to upgrade the other fleet while we were waiting. Well, okay. So they switched their rivalry around. Alright. That may be for the better. Ships upscaled. Alright, so the upgrade is finally finished. So we're looking at a fleet strength of 15.9k, which is decent. Let's go ahead and uh, get into our ship designer now. And uh, looks like it saved the changes I made. So I just have to hit the save button now. I hope we're, we're good on all our other tech. Yeah. Okay. Then we go to blockade. We make the same change. Okay, that change has already been made for us. So we just need the better ballistic weapons. Kinetic weapons, I guess, is more proper. Okay. And then same thing with the destroyer. I'll say I'm also probably quite a bit behind on... Yeah, that's... That's good. A bit behind on the uh, defense platforms at this stage. Okay. Let's go take a look at that. So you need to be level three. And then otherwise, I guess you're already on uh, track. So there we go. Probably not going to do much upgrading of that stuff at the moment. So let's start with the stream here, have them upgrade, and then the lake also upgrade. All right, looking good. And that's going to consume all my alloys. I'm actually sure, not sure why, because unless I misread that, it shouldn't have been that whole a thousand or so that we had. A system has been surveyed. Okay, how are we doing on the surveys? You're still going strong. Wow, this, these are some pretty good systems here. Ships upscaled. Okay, so you're all done with the upgrades. So you're up to 3.6k. I mean, that was... Uh, 
300 improvement. It's pretty good. We're at up to 6.1k here. And still probably going to go up. Let's take a look at this. How much would it cost? 14? I guess it's not too bad. Ships upscaled. Okay. So Lake's still doing its thing. We've got 458. Do we want to go with two cruisers? I mean, I know it says it wants two cruisers, uh, not cruisers, destroyers. Where do we go for another cruiser here? You know what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the two destroyers because we'll be able to afford that fairly easily. Kind of torn on that though because the small ships are the ones that die easily usually the first ones to die and they die easily upscaling complete okay, do one more sure 3.9k for that fleet then 16.5 here Okay. Shows your wares. That's a lot. What are they offering? So does your colony stink? A one-time delivery to a single colony only. Anti-odor effects are guaranteed to last 80 years and no longer. Increase immigration pull by 30% and pop growth by 10%. Uh, not interested. Move along. Ships upscaled. All right. So you're all done with 16.6k. Let's uh, start moving you along. And we've kind of gotten to that point where I think it's time to start looking towards attacking here. So let's take a look at making some claims. Let's take a look at the state of the war real quick. The so 33%, 48%, and then I'm going to assume that they have uh, systems captured over here. Oh, actually, they're being cleaned up. That's actually a good sign. It means they may uh, be losing some battles. Uh, these guys held the system over... Oh, yeah, they're holding quite a few systems over here. All right, so let's take a look at our, our main enemy here that we're going to be attacking. So that's going to be these guys. They... Are equivalent across the board. What's their defensive alliance look like? So these guys, these guys, and these guys. Pretty much the same guys that are in this war right now. All these guys here. So can I handle all of them at once? I don't know. I mean, honestly, uh, these guys don't really have much of a fleet according to this. Neither do these guys, and they're kind of far away. So mostly, yeah, maybe I can't, but... I think at least we get a try for it while they're distracted. So make claims. Uh, we're going to need to come over and actually physically make these claims. Oop. 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 So that's going to cost me 224 influence, which we do have. I did save up for it. So make claims. Okay. Then we're going to declare war. Conquer claim. Okay, I do want to check something really quick on edicts. See if there's any that I could afford with the influence that we have. I could do capacity overload, which would allow me to afford mercenaries faster. Or I could do just research grants, which is generally a good one.
There's also other things I could do to give me more uh, combat performance. So uh, we could do... Well, that would get us moving faster. Exotic gases is fuel. I mean, we have a lot of these resources oftentimes. So this is going to last 16 years. So that sounds like a good investment. So let's say we... We just like go through and we do a lot of these that are combat related. Kinetic weapon damage, we use kinetic weapons, so that sounds fine. Uh, explosive weapon damage, we use missiles in our audit class cruisers. We don't have a ton of them, but we do use it. Let's make sure we're not spending stuff we don't have. Okay, we do still have a decent amount for those. Armor hit points, that sounds fine. Focusing crystals for energy weapon damage, that all sounds fine, right? Not something I've really taken advantage of a lot, but it's something I've kind of been aware of. Uh, we could go with the sensors as well, just give us a little bit more of a, a drop on like what's going on. Um, may not be a bad idea. I mean, if we've got rare crystals sitting around, I mean, why not, right? So we'll do that, especially as it lasts a long time, apparently. So we've got all that taken care of. And then honestly, I think we should go with the capacity overload, try and get our uh, energy credits up because we need 9,000 to be able to buy the mercenaries. Maybe not need them, but... In case we do, it'd be nice to have them on hand. So I'm also going to do that one. And this will also last a long time, so... Boop. Okay, we're more or less ready to go. Uh, ready to fight these guys. Um, I will wait until my ships are in position. They're not quite there just yet. Uh, do I want to move this fleet out yet or not? I guess it wouldn't hurt. Get them moving. I'm more concerned about this fleet over here. And then we'll probably declare war. This gives me some time to get those energy credits up as well. We don't have to buy the whole 9k one too. We, we can do some of them the cheaper ones. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at that real quick. They should like me a little bit, so let's see if we can find them in this mess of stuff. Uh, oh, they're there. I guess they don't really have reputation. All right. How much would we have? So, hire mercenaries. So, it looks like the cheapest one's 4,000, and that's the most we could afford. I mean, two cruises, four frigates, and eight raiders, not necessarily terrible, but obviously I'm going to want the 9k one if I can get it. We could always sell stuff to get to that uh, avenue as well. As a matter of fact, I could probably do that. By selling... Do I want to go be so bold and sell two and a half thousand of this? Yeah, sure, what the hell. So, we're really close to getting to that 9k. Alright, let's continue here. Alright, we're in the system. I should probably wait until I'm just outside the jump point. So we want to go to Zgar, so we want to go right there. So I'm going to move over there, and once I'm right outside, so we can jump almost immediately. Upscaling okay. complete. we're there. We've got our Admiral ready to go. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I had this uh, destroyer here. I'll just send that on over. And... Or is that all the destroyers I wanted you to have for you? Okay, now it's saying it wants 10 destroyers. It never ends, does it? Um, We could probably wait on that and see if we could build, build maybe a bigger ship to send over here. But my goal here is just to capture all these like smaller systems to give us a little bit of victory points. These should be easy to roll over because they don't have really any space stations there. Uh, and then we'll just roll through, get our objectives up here. Which I don't see any enemy presence around, so it should be pretty easy uh, to handle. Uh, let's see, do we see anything as far as enemy fleet? And what is the state of the war over here? So they've got two systems over here. Then over here the enemy has one, two, three, four, five systems. And nothing here. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the war going. This may be a colossally bad idea, but I, I think we can handle it. And if it is a colossally bad idea, well, we'll do the best we can. We'll give it the best fight we can. So conquer claim, declare war. 
All right. So there is a vote. Uh, obviously, I'm voting yes. Let's see how that goes. Commencing new business venture. All right. We're at war. Uh, and this is a perfect time to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.